All right, y'all. Sorry it's a late start, but last minute decision. I'm washing two pairs of my jeans, medium water level. Lightly soiled. So of course, light soiled. I'm using original tight scented unstoppables. That's the giant bottle from Sam's Club. <laughs> Normally I don't use any scent on them, but for some odd reason, um, they've only been sitting in my closet for a week. The last pair I pulled out, I was like, oh, they don't smell so fresh. So, which reminds me, I wonder if I could still do it. I still could. Okay, I added the second rinse. That could be a reason why. So warm water, I mean warm wash. I wish I could give them a, more, a warm rinse. You know, for the new model Speed Queen top loaders to be high, more high efficiency, I was surprised that they added a warm water wash and a warm uh, water rinse option. That, that should have been in these models. So it's one uh, tight pot in there and the unstoppable. Small to medium loads I will use one pot and sometimes one pot is too much for even a small load. Um, for large and extra large I'll usually use two. I don't think I've gone as far as using three. To me that's a bit much. Um, we have hard water and we had it tested recently and um, it's not as hard as I thought, <laughs> the water. <laughs> and um, so yeah, I was like, that's why I was like, two pods is the max I'll use here. So I went to the gym this morning, about 12 a.m. I uh, went to the movies and we saw Deadpool 2. Hilarious. I loved it. I loved it. I think the first one was better, but it was still good. Originally, we were going to see Solo, but it was so far ahead. And we had a lot of time in between, my friend and I. So we just decided to see Deadpool, even though he hasn't seen the first movie yet. I told him, I was like, you got to come over. I'll put it on for you. This is a very rough wash. Oh, I put it on heavy duty cycle. Did I even show you guys the control board? All right, there we go. Heavy duty cycle, warm wash, medium water level, low, light soil, second rinse. You know what I should have done was should, I should have put it on, once I had the warm water in here, on normal eco. Just to get those three spray rinses and then I only had to do one rinse, but too late now.
not for large and extra loads. I mean extra large loads. The more I look at this agitator, the more I realize it's kind of like the the commercial, except this one's longer. Commercial dependable care agitators, those little teeny tiny agitators. They're so cute. And I was looking at this one, I was like, yeah, this one's not that big either. It's kind of a small agitator. But it gets the job done. <laughs> my two gym shorts and my sweats after I done uh, got done with my workout I took a shower and then I went back to the bench by the locker and I was like I was just sitting there cooling off because it's not exactly cool in, inside the gym and that's intentional uh, they want to make you sweat and we want to sweat anyway but um I was just sitting there and I was like, you know what, I really want to go into the hot tub. So after I got it, I took a shower, I decided to go into the hot tub. <laughs> and then while I'm in the hot tub, I was like, some water splashed into my mouth. That is not chlorine, that's salt. I was like, oh, it's a salt water hot tub. This is different. And it was nice. I'm all like, you know, salt's good for you. <laughs> not to intake, you know, it could be bad for you, especially in high amounts. But it was so relaxing, and I'm glad I did it. So there I went again, taking another shower, and then coming home. So I got home about 3.30. Yeah, I beat the traffic right before rush hour started. The gym, there's only two gyms that are 24-7 here, and of course they're all LA Fitness. This was a former 24-hour fitness center. And um, so it's designed different. The equipment's different, you know, from an original LA Fitness uh, Center. And, you know, it's not bad. But as far as LA Fitness acquisitions, um, the centers I really liked the most were the former Q gyms. It, I don't know if you guys, if, if Q existed at any other state. It was a 90s gym, very popular, multi-level. Um, of course, the popular colors back then were like this purple and this teal and this almost like a dark hot pink. <laughs> you know, and uh, they still have those colors. And then they have the etched uh, stainless steel uh, and some neon lights over the men's and women's locker room. You know, saying men and men and women. But, anyways, I like those the way they were set up. Um, they're pretty big gyms. You know, some of the equipment is old, but a lot of the equipment is new after LA Fitness took them over. Um, but it's not the equipment that you would see inside a, a you know a newer LA Fitness uh, gym. Um, they had their lay their pool has four lanes. They have a uh, unisex spa, um, not spa, sauna, and it's, they're big, they're big saunas. And um, unisex uh, steam room as well, and that's a big room as well. Um, and a really big hot tub, really big hot tub. You can probably fit about 15 to 20 people in them. And I just like the way those are set up. And we have a 24-4. Not 24-7. Um, I think both of them are 24-4. Um, and the one that's closer to the house is the one on 32nd Street in Camelback. If y'all want to know. If you're ever visiting. <laughs> and the other one is on Price and Baseline. Which is a bit farther out. Even though I'm closer to Baseline Road, it's way out there though. Anyways, first rinse. You 
you know what, I'm gonna add more unstoppable. And these new unstoppables, they do. All right, see, and they float. The old unstoppables, they sunk. So they would sink. And also the game fireworks, they would sink too. They're a lot heavier and a harder, they're made like a harder shell. This thing devours air pockets, which is good. One thing I have noticed though, this machine produces a lot of lint and where do they end up? In my pockets. <laughs> and they're stuck in the corners. So every time I put a pair of pants on, whether work pants or jeans, I have to pick my pocket. So those tight scented unstoppables obviously pair well with original scent tide, but they also pair well with sun blossom downy and also the yellow bottle of Suavitel. I was trying to I was having a hard time trying to find unstoppables that match to this. It's a very bold scent. Whereas the other one I wish was bold is actually kind of light. See how long it took for that jean to turn over. Jeans are they're stiff, so it takes them a little bit longer to turn over. And you see how much index I'm getting too. That's because of because of how hard the material is, how tough it is. It's not it's perfect amount of water for just these two pair of jeans, but because the material is so tough, it's heavy. Obviously heavy duty cycle. You know, it causes that. So I washed my towels. Um, I washed underwear because I had run out. Um, I washed my work pants with one undershirt just to complete my four day week, which starts today. I still haven't gone to bed yet. It's about s almost seven o'clock in the morning. And I go to work at 7 p.m. And, uh, oh no, actually, today's my early day. I go in at 6.50. And I forgot what I was going to say. I'm so tired. <laughs> so, yeah. I still have a whole hamper full of clothes. I have enough work shirts. No problem there. Enough socks. Walmart 
and I could have swore I put in my basket a box of Clean Breeze scented um, dryer sheets from Downey. But when I got home, I was like, where are my dryer sheets? So I was like, I called my sister and I asked her, I was like, do you have my dryer sheets by any chance? She's like, no, because we both, both went shopping together. And I was like, crap, I didn't actually put them in. Something distracted me or maybe my nephew distracted me. I don't know what, but it did the trick. I left them behind. I even checked my receipt and they weren't in there. So that's why I didn't buy um, Clean Breeze Scented Downy. Like I said before, that's usually my go-to for, you know, everything. Right now, Sun Blossom is my go-to. And after that's done, I'm going to use the cotton linen or whatever. I think I mentioned it on the last video. It's a new scent from Downey. It's wonderful. It's amazing. It's sweet. I love sweet scents. See, I wish that it would go into the high-speed spin after the first rinse. I mean, before the first rinse. But it doesn't, and I'm assuming just to keep the splashing down to a minimum during the spray rinse, but... Oh well. Deal with it. I got a line series, yes! <laughs> I ain't complaining about that. I seriously hope that this is the first and only year that Speed Queen produces this, these top loaders that they have out now because they suck. <laughs> Ooh. And I hope they go back to the drawing board and do something similar to this. but change the programming on that, on the control board. I've mentioned it before, I wish there was a delicate eco and a delicate rinse and spin. This is, should be hand washed and of course that should be delicate. Heavy duty is heavy duty, white is just a longer cycle. Um, what I would do is remove the eco from normal, make it a shorter cycle than heavy duty, um, and put eco as an option. And put another um, plus rinse here as, well, no, that wouldn't work either. Well, yes, it would. If you press rinse and spin, and eco as the option then you would get an automatic spin with the three spray rinses that would work yeah eco should be an option i think that's it i'm too tired to think <laughs> You might have noticed um, something black and white and kind of checkered in there. Um, Wait. Those are compression stockings that I ordered from Amazon. They are so freaking tight, I couldn't even put them on. So I've been washing them for like the past three months. As soon as I'm done washing them here, I dry them and I throw them back in the hamper right away. Trying to loosen up the fibers a bit.
So there, but I throw them into just about every load. Obviously not whites. Surprised at how much foam there is. How much suds. And there's no fabric softener in there either. So I'm assuming that's just air. I hope it's just air. let some of the water spin out and then I'm gonna rearrange the pants in there so they can be even in the tub evenly distributed Maybe the next Speed Queen will have dispensers. Ooh. <laughs> Just not a dispenser tray. It's a lot of foam. I'm gonna adjust it. All right. There's a lot of foam. shaky but not so violent like before you can hear
hear the water still coming out of them. Yeah, they were still pretty damp when I, right now when I pulled them out. All right, y'all. I gotta go to bed. You've seen one spin. You've seen them all. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Catch you later. Bye.